And he's now in the ring here, giving it that last and final go, fighting for a regional title. Take it up to Pablo Flores to make this fight official. Damas y caballeros, Boristeca Boxing Promotions presenta nuestro siguiente encuentro pactado a 10 rounds por el título de la Federación Mundial de Boxeo en México. Let's get ready for 10 rounds of boxing for the WBF Mexico title. Sanctioned by, sancionado por the WBF, la Federación Mundial de Boxeo, President, Presidente. Howard Goldberg, supervisor in attendance and supervisor in turno, Max Zuniga La Bandera. Your three judges scoring this bout in ringside. Sus tres jueces, Daniel Lopez, Antonio Villegas, y el Dr. Roman Cruz Olais. And your referee in charge of the action, su referee para medir las acciones, el Internacional Ray Armendariz. Introducing to your first the fighter standing in the blue corner, wearing white trunks with green trim. He officially weighs in at 152 pounds. Presentando ustedes en la esquina azul. Vistiendo pantaloncillo en color blanco con verde. Con un peso de 152 libras. He stands with 34 professional bouts. Cuenta con 34 combates profesionales. Representando Loreto, Baja California Sur y Tijuana, Baja California. Alex Osama Valladá. And his opponent across the ring is standing in the red corner wearing black trunks with gold trim. He officially weighs in at 152 pounds. Y su rival en la esquina roja, vistiendo pantaloncillo color negro con dorado, con un peso idéntico de 152 libras. He stands with a record of 20 victories, including four losses, two draws, and nine of those victories coming by the fast way of knockout. Presenta un record. De 20 victorias, 4 derrotas, 2 empates y 9 de esas victorias por la vía del cloroformo. Representando, representing the arena, San Diego, California, USA. Rafael Rafael. Instructions para dar las instrucciones finales, su referee, Ray Armendariz. Ocho rounds. Ya les di sus instrucciones al investidor. Chachos, espero que se comporten como profesionales. Obedezcanme a todo tiempo. Protéjense a todo tiempo. Choquen manos en sus esquinas. Here we go, folks. Eight rounds in the super welterweight division. Rafael Ramirez, Alex Valladares. Ramirez looking to make one last go in his pro career in a similar situation like our main eventer Chris Martin both fighters wanting to make one final push towards a significant title run as uh, Ralphie is fighting for a regional super welterweight title here tonight at the big punch arena as we now begin round number one Rafael Ramirez in the black shorts with pink trim Alex Valladares, white shorts with green trim, and Rafael Ralphie Ramirez is a slickster. Style is very technical, very defensive, is a boxer, will stick and move, avoid big shots and damage. Valladares is a guy that comes forward, will pressure, and will really test you. It's funny how yesterday at the weigh-ins, Valladares comments after uh, Ramirez tries to shake his hand, I'm going to knock you out. <laughs> well, we'll see. That remains to be seen. This is an eight-rounder. So Valladares does have time to get his rhythm in, but he must not allow Ramirez to get that jab popping oh, and him moving because that is Ramirez's fight. Ramirez has gone through a sort of transformation since being featured here in our Best in Boxing series. Over the course of fight after fight after fight, he's gotten in better and better shape. 
Looks in, in really good shape now. As he lands a hook to the body there, follows it up with a jab. It shows you how serious he is about this last run. That he's gonna give it a go in this later part of his career. Picking his shots, going down to the body. Bayadars being calm, patient, scoping out what Ramirez has. Three, three punch combination there from Ramirez. Nice four punch combination there from Beautiful Ramirez. Body work. A little bit low there, the referee warns him. Ramirez coming in this fight with just so much experience, sharing the ring with Floyd Mayweather, helping him with 10 championship fights, working with Shane Mosley as well, helping him for two title fights. Shane Mosley's son fighting today as well. Dropped a decision actually against Brandon Adams in the contender finale. Ramirez having his way so far in this round number one, popping that jab. Fayadars has been tentative, not letting his hands go. Though he lunges in with a big hook there. Now finally getting to work with Ramirez. He's trying to scope everything out that Ramirez has. Yeah. Staying calm and collective. Yeah, I got a weird feeling. That's what, he, what he's doing. He's just wanting to see what Ramirez got. And as the fight progresses, he's really going to let his hands go. Clear round number one for Ramirez. We're looking at the corner now of Valladares from Laredo. Ramirez, just a hop, skip, and a jump away here from Tijuana, living in San Diego, but spending a lot of time training and living in Las Vegas. There he goes as he takes that distance on him. Puts that stiff jab on him, misses. Knows how to control that distance. Yeah, vintage Rafael Ramirez right there. We begin round number two. Ramirez is going to try to lull you into his rhythm. He, and he does that with his jab and his movement. Hypnotizes you with that jab. Yeah. Beautiful jab to a solar flex. Seen a lot of improvement in Ramirez as well. His punches look crisper, sharper. Not sharper. He's been going down to the body, been committing now. Full leverage shot, sitting down on him. Yeah, a lot of improvement from him. It's looked like he's getting his rhythm now. Looking real confident in there. Bayadar is not sure if he's just biding his time or is perplexed by the movement of Ramirez. Better move by Ramirez. He knows, he knows how to do it all. He knows when to box, he knows when to brawl. That's what a veteran has to know. You gotta know when to go, put the pressure on him, you gotta know when to box. Beautiful. And all these punches are landing flush for him, tallying up his score with the judges. Not much offense overall so far from Dariadaris. So every time. He does throw punches. Ramirez making sure to get out of the way. Though Ramirez just got tagged there by a jab. Answers right back. I'm still curious to see what Valladares has to bring in the late couple rounds. Two punch combination there. Ramirez acknowledges it. He's able to shake it off though. Bayadara shakes his head. I don't think he's going to have any problems with the power of Ramirez. 
though, you might have a big problem is combination punches that are being put together from Ramirez. He's been very active so far in these two rounds. Back with his combinations, just not landing. Yeah, he needs to be careful too, Ramirez. He can't get cute when he has his back against the ropes. Lands a jab on Ramirez. He's varying his attack. He's, he's jabbing, he's throwing straights, but then he'll, he'll also go to the body. It's a good strategy to have with a guy that's going to come straight forward at you and by a dot. Good defense by Ramirez. Good movement as well. Let's see if he can keep this pace up. He strained his butt off, that's for sure. And like I mentioned, just seen a transformation in him over the fights that he's had here with us in Best in Boxing. So his body's gotten tighter. His movement has gotten better. His reflexes have gotten better. Just overall, he's gotten better. Dedicated his life, six-week camp. Put it all to show he still has it. I think seemingly at this point, Brandon, Ramirez is fighting a very good fight, a very intelligent very fight. Very good strategy, very yeah, good. Yeah, and he's having his way in there so far. Especially he's following by the name of the game, hit and not get hit. Yeah, especially at a, Especially at age 38. I mean, you can't afford to take bad shots, unnecessary shots that'll lay you out and put your career out the way. I think the uh, mouthpiece of Valladares just fell out of there. Ramirez got a lot of people in here at the Big Punch Arena, watching him, knowing his story, wanting to see him be successful. Beautiful jab. So he begins. That's the problem. If you let Ramirez get, get behind that jab, you're not going to touch him. Yeah, as he begins this round number three strong, pumping that jab. And if you're Vyadaris, Vyadaris giving a little smile there. But it's usually when you, when you smile is when you get caught with something. You know, if you're Vyadaris, you got to think, okay, you're letting Ramirez get into his rhythm now want to stop that and you want to throw some punches and that's what he needs to do he needs to start throwing some punches put something together to get that momentum yeah, away from rhythm. Ramirez yeah because if you allow Ramirez to fight like this he's gonna go away with the fight he's gonna pick you apart round by round Veteran tactic as, as he holds after that yeah, shot. Smart move right there. By Dars. It's a big dude. Built. Nice pot shot combination there. Three punches from Rafael Ramirez. And for some fans, Brandon, it might not be the most pleasing thing to watch. You know, a lot of fans want to see blood and guts, all action. But if you study the science that is pugilism, there's a lot to appreciate in what Rafael Ramirez is showing. There's and other fighters appreciate. and other fighters that show this type of style. Oh, yeah. I mean, Ralph being, being more than a 10-year veteran, I mean, boxing over 28 years, he's learned the name of the game, hit, not get hit, especially being in the ring with Floyd Mayweather himself. I mean, you, you got you to gotta notice, especially the wear and tear you get within this sport. I mean, most of the people who evolved within all their fights don't usually make it fully mentally there. I mean, at this age, 38 years old, Rafael Ramirez can box, he's sharp, he's playing the name of the game, hit, and not get hit. He's making it look easy so far. 
for coming to the end in round number three. All Rafael Ramirez through three rounds. Now you gotta imagine looking at the corner of Valladares that his corner is telling him, throw something, throw what's, punches. What's you gotta be on? active, exactly. But is it difficult as a fighter who comes forward when you're faced with a guy who jabs and moves? He's puzzled, he's puzzled. What are some ways that he could work around that? So we take a look at a replay here. Ramirez. Just go down to that body. A little shoulder roll there. To the shoulder roll, pulls Takes a little half out. step back. Showing some high level stuff here. Round number four here at the Big Punch Arena. Marcos Viegas on the call here with Brandon Cruz. You're watching us live on Fight Up TV. Thank you for you uh, tuning in and spending your Friday night with us over here. You're seeing the man in the black trunks, Rafael Ramirez, challenging for the WBF Mexico title. It's a regional title. He's taking on his opponent, Alex Valladares, a rugged Mexican fighter from Laredo. Hasn't been able to mount any sort of offense, though, due to the jab and the movement of Ramirez. And everything he has thrown, Ramirez, has been able to either slip or block. There he stays composed back behind that jab. Bayadar is finally letting his hands go at some extent, though Ramirez seems to be just half an inch away from those punches not connecting with him. I think at this point, Valladar is just going to have to pressure a little bit more, be a little bit more urgent. Beautiful job by Ramirez. Gets off the ropes, holds him, pushes him off. You're back in the center of the ring. Yeah, but looking at the rhythm of this fight, he's fighting at the rhythm of Ramirez. Oh, yeah. He needs to up his punch output. There you go. Lunging hook there to the body. Baidar is finally filing it up with another one. It seems that his uh, engine is starting to go now. You now maybe Baidar is that type of fighter that just needs a few rounds to kind of get started up and, and Start really get going. Engine. Yeah. breaks him apart, warns Ramirez about pushing him down. He also got warned earlier about using that shoulder. He needs to be careful. That right there he was warned about earlier. And it's small veteran tactics that, that change the name of the game. As you see, Valladares is trying to come in back with shots, but he, he, Ramirez doesn't allow it. As he either puts his head down, he puts his shoulder on his head. Better round now for Valladares, but so seemingly a Ramirez round. So we take a look back at some action now from round number four. With that jab. That let us catch his Ramirez. Yeah, with Ramirez the jab. acknowledging it too. Telling him, hey, you got me good there. But Ramirez answering back with combinations of his own. I'd hope the corner is imploring Varadares, look, it's an eight round fight, four rounds in the books. You're down four rounds. Down you gotta four. pick it up. There's you gotta, gotta, gotta it be up. Uh, urgency there.
round five here of a scheduled eight rounds in the super welterweight division. 38 year old Rafael Ramirez having his way so far with Alex Bayadares and doing what you're seeing him do right now. Sticking and moving, using that jab, getting out of the way. A lot of these pl uh, punches not allowing Bayadares to ever land flush really. And if he does, only allowing him to one, one punch flush. Bayadares either perplexed by the jabbing and the movement of Ramirez or just not able to let his hands go. He left hook by Ramirez. Beautiful, I can mix it, bring it back down. Is punching there. He'll faint and not, well, finally throws a punch, but he's not, he's confused as to why he's not letting his hands go. He's trying to figure out what, what to do, what works. Maybe he's been trying a couple other things, but you're, you're being froze by every, everything that Ramirez is outputting. I mean, he's freezing you with the jab, he holds you, he uses veteran taxes, puts your head down. Sometimes you don't know what to do after that. It's when he's in close quarters like this, when Ramirez leans in a little bit, I think that Bayadar should do a little bit more work. Just let his hands go, like right here in that instance, before Ramirez is able to hold, just let his hands go. Catch him coming in. Yeah. Good series of punches there from Ramirez. He's been in control all night so far. Beautiful defense by Ramirez. Yeah, just slipped that big haymaker punch from Vidaris. And throws a few more right here. Vidaris now. No offense from him when he has Ramirez in close quarters. But walk him down. A little attempt to throw. There we go. Finally mounting some sort of offense. It's the beautiful, beautiful defense by Ramirez. Yeah, Ramirez is able to slip a lot of those punches. As he blows a kiss to the crowd right here. <laughs> In the corner. Ramirez confident so far. It's become it's kind of, this kind of fight kind of makes you think, was there anything wrong with him making weight? You know, it kind of reminds you almost like Canelo Chavez fight. You know how Chavez reminds himself how he says he couldn't make weight and he's seen all the punches come in, but you just can't do anything. You know, that's almost like exactly how it's looking. So we're now we're gonna take a look at the last few frames of this round. Ramirez lunging with a the hook there. Bayadar is coming forward. We're gonna see the defensive movement of Ramirez right now. Hands down. That's like seven. Seven punches is slipped. Good sharp dab to start the beginning of round number six from Rafael Ramirez. Flicks that out again. Beautiful dab. Yeah, man. It's really working well for him in this fight. All Bayadars can do is just cover up when Ramirez starts with that jab. Let him know that right hand's coming. Bayadar is saying, come on, urging Ramirez to fight, but it's Ramirez who's been throwing all the punches so far in this fight.
like we've been seeing throughout the whole fight, we've been questioning as to why Valladares hasn't thrown any punches. And obviously, unless you throw, you can't expect a decision to go your way. Oh, yeah. Mears is doing pretty much everything he has to do to win the fight. Not more, not any less. Staying behind that jab, scoring his points, getting out the way. It's a big swing and a miss there for Valladares. Lands a jab. Yeah, first punch has probably landed flush on Ramirez in this round. Referee keeps warning him, though, about that shoulder. Ramirez needs to be careful that he doesn't get a point deducted from him. Bigger the mouthpiece comes there. out. Uppercut knocks the mouthpiece of Valladares out. Ramirez taking a knee in the other corner. Not sure as to why he's taking a knee. Maybe just catching his breath. Vaidar is taking that uppercut well. Slips those wild shots by Valladares. I'm seeing another potential weapon being used by Ramirez. Now that uppercut's found its home on two occasions. And once again, another warning from the referee about Ramirez using that shoulder. Vaidar is telling the referee, hey man, you've warned him a lot already. Make the stop. Beautiful right hand by Ramirez. Seems to be a cut on the right eye of Valladares as well now. Beautiful slick. Yeah, as Ramirez is just having his way in there, making Valladares miss just about every single power shot that he throws. I'm hearing now from our truck that the cut on Valladares' right eye was actually from a headbutt. As so we take a look at action from this past round, Ramirez slipping those punches. We left puck, comes back with the right hand. Boom! Beautiful Out goes the mouthpiece. Cut. Slips that left hook. But look at Valladares' face. He's like, come on, man. <laughs> but you know what? He needs to throw punches. He can't be getting hit by these punches, even though he doesn't feel the power of Ramirez can hurt him. He's still getting touched up. So and that's having touched. an effect on how the judges are scoring this fight. You got to give every single round up to this point to Rafael Ramirez based on his activity. Valladares. Two rounds to turn it all around. As it's more of the same from Rafael Ramirez. Jab, move, jab, clinch. Baidar is frustrated, but he's gonna have to do something different. There's a hard warning now from the referee. Valladares just can't find the answer. He comes with a small flurry, but... Yeah, we need to see more of that from Valladares, but even with that, Ramirez is able to out-hustle him, outland him. side-to-side -side movement now from Ramirez. Trying to find that shot. Like we stated at the beginning of the fight, if you let Ramirez lull you into his rhythm, you probably got no chance of winning the fight. Because he's just so good at making you fight at his pace and slipping a lot of these punches. Mm -hmm. 
I think Valladares needs to keep Ramirez in these corners. Really cut the ring off and just let his hands go. He has to throw combinations, just hit whatever he can. He's trying to keep him on the ropes and stop trying to headhunt. Keep yeah, trying to headhunt, Ramirez is going to slip all your punches. Just throw, throw something. Hit the arms, the elbows, the shoulders, something. Payadaris just looks disheartened in there. Just can't find the answer to it. Like an instance is like right there. Right there he couldn't let his hands go. But he did it. As Ramirez pot shotting now. Nice jab there. Lands the hook. And as people might say he's not working enough, but he's doing, he's constant every other second. He's throwing one or two shots, staying busy with that jab, head movement. Oh, Ramirez is fighting the perfect fight. He's, he's fighting a vintage Ramirez fight. Doing well, winning just about every single round so far as we're coming out of the final round. If you're in the corner of Alex Valladares, you would think you'd be screaming, yelling at him, you need a knockout. Beating him, you need yeah. to let those hands go. Damas y caballeros, este es el round número 8. El último round, ladies and gentlemen, this is round number 8. Your final round. Here we go, the final round, round number 8. Rafael Ramirez taking on Alex Valladares for the WBF Mexico title. This fight taking place at the super welterweight division. Both fighters weighing in at 152 pounds yesterday. And Ramirez uh, threw seven rounds, all in control. It's been all him the whole entire fight. Lulling and hypnotizing Valladares with his rhythm, his movement, and his defense. Valladares not able to let his hands go throughout the whole entire fight. Hasn't fought with any sense of urgency whatsoever. Referee warning Ramirez now. Been warned multiple times in this fight. He needs to be careful, he doesn't get a point deducted. He's just moving, moving. He's already got the rounds in the bag. Nobody that has got to prove something. Yeah, he needs to come like a bat out of hell and just start swinging for everything. Lands a hook there. Now he said at the weigh-ins yesterday, like you mentioned, that he was going to knock out Ramirez. Oh, yeah. But I'm not seeing any of that killer instinct, any of that bravado from him at Can't all. Can't figure it out. lands a series of punches there. The crowd getting a little restless, wanting Valladares to show some sort of effort in action. A minute to go now. Ramirez able to slip move just done a brilliant job so far with this defense showing that at, even at age 38 he still got a good amount of time and energy left and excuse me folks I mentioned, whoa, by Adaris Beautiful. on shaky legs there.
Ramirez now gonna jump all over Valladares. Let's see if he can take him out here. Saved by the bell is Valladares as both of them continue to fight even after the bell. Finally, a, a fire lit under the uh, the derriere of Valladares as he screams at Ramirez after that round. This bout is 10 rounds. I know I had mentioned that this fight was eight rounds. It's actually a 10 round fight. I apologize about that on our bout sheet. It says that it's an eight round fight, but we're just informed right now by our ringside officials that this is a 10 round fight. So we take a look at replay now at the knockdown. Brandon, take us through it. He shoots that jab, waiting for it. Catches him beautifully coming in with that left uppercut. As he starts buckling, Ramirez sees the opening. Yeah, you know what? Valladares was aware of what was going on. He's very smart right there. He took a knee. He took the knee. Round number nine, let's see if Ramirez will go in for the kill. Hernie Valladares in that round number eight. He comes in trying to land that left uppercut the previous round. Valladares now getting pumped up, urging Ramirez to fight. though has been fighting he's the one that's been throwing all the punches that's been bringing the fight to Valladares beautiful hitting by Ramirez as the crowd booms they're probably unhappy with Ramirez's performance Daniel the crowd here in TJ they want action right? they want to fight them to action and all, and all the fights that they watch over here. The crowd taunting Ramirez. Beautiful combination by Ramirez. See, Ramirez is gonna follow up and, and try to lay that uppercut again. He's able to, to hurt by that. He's gonna see if he can set it up once more and land it flush. Shots to the body, throw uppercuts. Beautiful left uppercut set up by the back of his right hand. Vaidar's imploring Ramirez to stand and fight. Oh. Vaidar is trying to stick his elbow in Ramirez's face. He's trying to make it ugly in there. He should have tried to make it ugly from the very get-go. Ramirez with a good combination. Two-punch combination right there. Ten seconds. Hey, five dollars, three, three punches there. Missed all three. Went to the body and it was blocked. He looks so dejected, so frustrated at what Rafael Ramirez has been able to do so far in this fight. Damas y caballeros, el round número 10, el último asalto. 
This is your round number 10, your final round. This is the final round here. Rafael Ramirez taking on Alex Valladares. Ramirez scoring a knockdown in round number seven. Excuse me, round number eight. Controlling this fight with his stick and movement. It's jabbing, slipping, jabbing, moving. If you're a uh, boxing connoisseur, you're gonna enjoy what Ramirez has shown in the ring so far. It's completely befuddled by Adaris. He has no idea what to do in there. Hasn't been able to let his hands go. When he gets close, he'll get clinched up by Ramirez. And seemingly has just completely shut down the offense of Adaris so far in this fight. And Ramirez looking like he can still go, maybe even 12 rounds still as he lands a five punch combination there. Beautiful performance by Ramirez. Stay sharp, stay on his defense, great output. Oh, Hayadar is just so frustrated. There's no answer left. Now he, do he doesn't know how to deal with this. Time. So referee calls a timeout. Not sure what for. So it might have been a possible headbutt. It's the last round in this 10 round fight. You would think Valladares would come and try to do something. He's the one imploring Ramirez to fight. And there's spots where Ramirez will let his hands go and Valladares will just stay there and shake his head. If you're gonna employ a, implore a, a guy to fight, beautiful defense. you gotta throw and do what he's trying to do right now, finally. Dar sneaks a shot to the body. It's right here where he just needs to leave, let his hands go. Beautiful Big slip. haymaker miss right there. Ramirez shelling up. Beautiful left uppercut by Ramirez. Yeah, he's been finding its target the whole night. By Dar is once again shaking his head. He's not happy with all the clinching that's happening. What can you do when an opponent clinches like that? I mean, you can't really do much. I mean, it's it's all veteran tactic. It's pretty much to avoid you swinging any any kind of wild shot, any other shot you want to place. It's coming down to the last 10 seconds of this round. Fayadar is just throwing everything in his punches. But Rafael Ramirez having a stellar performance here tonight, just putting on a clinic against an outmatch. Alex Valladares shut him out completely him out. and with a knockdown. If you look at the corner of Valladares, Valladares just wasn't able to let his hands go at any moment in this fight. Seems that the judges have rendered their decision Though, it should come to no surprise that it should go the way of Rafael Ramirez. I'm not sure what the holdup is here.
there you go. Judges now have handed over their scorecards to our ring announcer, Pablo Flores. Ramirez all smiles in the corner. Let's go ahead and take it up to Pablo Flores. Pablo, let's see who is declared the winner in this fight. And ladies and gentlemen, after 10 rounds of boxing, we now go to the judges' scorecards. This plays at 10 rounds of combate. Tenemos la decisión de los jueces. Judge, el juez, Daniel Lopez, he scores it 98 to 91. 98 a 91. And both judges, Roman Cruz Olais and Antonio Villegas, they have the same scores of 99 to 90. Coinciden tarjetas 99 a 90. For your winner, by the way, of unanimous decisions. You're going to go por la vía de la decisión unánime. And new WBF Mexico title champion. El nuevo campeón de la Federación Mundial de Boxeo en México. The Arena, San Diego, California, USA. Rafael! Ramirez! As we see, a victorious Rafael Ramirez improving his record now to 21 4 and 2. Though mixed reactions from the crowd here at the Big Punch Arena in Tijuana, Mexico. Some cheering, others booing. Not happy with how the fight went and the tempo that it was fought at, but at 38 years old, Rafael Ramirez has given his career some breath of fresh air as he continues on to more significant fights here at the Best in Boxing. Sure, he's going to be a happy camper tonight. Put on a solid performance, Sydney Brennan. Solid performance. Did what he had to do to win the fight. Did everything he had to do. Stay solid behind that jab. Timed him. Uses veteran moves. 